Calm down! <laughs> fucking dick. Stop resisting! Peace, peace, family. This your brother Monroe Jr. I hope everybody out there having a productive day. Man, looking at this video, it hurts to see this young 13-year-old sister getting struck like that. But it just shows that we're dealing with beast in human form. They have no respect for our life. They don't value our life. So we have to value and respect our own lives by getting the hell away from these people. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, separation is more important than prayer. So we need our own communities. Stop moving into to the suburbs around these people. Build up the inner cities. Buy back the block. Renovate it upgrade it and make your com we have to make our communities a safe and decent place to live like the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan he's one of the black leaders that's been telling us to do this over and over again the nation of Islam has an economic blueprint with over a million dollars in it you know we have farmland across America. We are trying to walk what we talk, but we need other uh, black organizations and institutions to come and join us in, in unity. And it's not about our ideas, about us coming together collectively, brainstorming and building off each other like the Asians do like the Latinos do. You know, like our other et uh, original ethnic family does, it doesn't take them much time. They don't care what they call themselves. It's the idea, the principle. They see same, same. Hey, <laughs> They see brother, brother, sister, sister. They ain't worried about religion. Oh, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, oh, I'm a Christian. Boy, you don't see them arguing about that. It's only our, our butt backsides is out here arguing over that our labels or our titles instead of understanding the purpose for which we should be uniting it's about our future generations right so that they don't have to go through crap like this this young sister went through in new jersey being hit by this right white racist cop man they hate us and in reality that police officer shouldn't live to see another day hitting our young sister like that See, that's the, that's the kind of love that we have to have for one another. If that happened to where I'm at in Dallas, I don't care if that's my daughter, that's a young black sister from our community. We cannot allow this kind of stuff as men to continue. We have to put our lives on the line. That's what time it is, brother. That's how we in the nation of Islam are trained. We are trained to give our life at any time for righteousness sake. So if it's going down right in front of us, it don't have to be our, our daughter or our mother. If it's a black woman getting done wrong, brother, we have to lay our life down. No questions asked. And when we develop that type of love in our communities, then enemies will tread lightly when they come in our communities, brothers. They will tread lightly. They say, oh, you know, no, they going to clap back. If we, you know, if we do something, they, they coming with it. But this is Brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.